run a faster time than than pretty much all of us at the beginning of, this, of the season because uh, uh, judging by how he performed last track season i thought he was gonna get too tired during the race and just blow himself out but the fact that he was able to maintain a consistent pace th throughout the race and actually you know like by pacing with evan and just blowing past him at the end honestly surprised me so but yeah, by the, by the end of the season, I wasn't too surprised because by that point, I became regionals champion. And so when he came to state, I was like, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. But yeah. When was the first time you had to pass Evan during the cross-country meet? Then uh, just let's go ahead and start pacing with you. The first time I passed I passed Evan during our races was the second race of the season. Uh, you know, when, when it was during a race, both me, both me, like not both. Me, Tristan, and Evan were pacing together as we were leading our um, our school in the pack, and they came to a point where I passed Evan, and then I started leading the school, and uh, uh, up until the final stretch of the race when Tristan just sped through and finished it off. So, like, it, it was a second race. Uh, what made Tristan had to dig for that state title? I mean, he, I mean, I I could tell he wanted it because he wanted to redeem him. Like me, he wanted to redeem himself from not being able to qualify for tra for state track by qualifying for state and cross country. So I guess he knew that that he really had to dig deep, you know, like go through very intense um, endurance training and just like do a, like a, a, a through a ton of our two mile and 5k workouts, and especially the mile workouts, like our mile relays that we had to do for Mr. Winger. He just, he, he, uh, he knew he had to really commit to endurance training, so. If you think that Kaito is going back to running on running for cross country team again, what would you do if you were thinking that Tristan Lesko could help Kaito push even more harder as ever? I'd say what I have to do is that I would um, like remind Kaito of why he got into, uh, into cross country in the first place. It, it was mainly to lose weight, but I guess I need to remind him of like the like the love, the passion he wants to have for the sport because by this point he has like pretty much been convinced that he's a mid a, a mid distance runner because like in fact he's trying to do better in the 800 meter so i would need to remind him about how he performs in distance racing in order to like be, be able to push him in order to not just com come into the sport again but to be able to run the times he used to so what do you think that tristan lesko could be the next michael jordan and lebron james and kobe bryant in high school to ever make history in cross country and track and field Okay, first off, these are basketball players, but I guess he's like talking about like being the Michael Jordan or something of track. Like I'd say it is possible considering he used to play basketball before switching to cross country and track, but what was the question again? Yeah, yeah, I'd say I, I don't fully know how to answer that, but I'd say it's possible that he could be like the next Michael Jordan or LeBron, so yeah. What made Tristan put God in first for the first thing he did whenever he has to pray with his teammates and you? I'd say like w w what what he did in order to put God first was that like before the begin like at the beginning of before uh, our races started we would have to you know um, pr uh, pray as a pack in order to rem remind ourselves of you know the, the blessings that God had given us, reminding us to put God first and keep Him centered in, bo in both our lives and our races, so that way you know we could be we could be assisted in our efforts and show that uh, like show our, our gratitude for becoming such fast racers. So, we made y'all guys had to grind through the cross country season and track and field season. I guess it was because of just like the common goal in mind of how we wanted to get faster. We wanted a chance of being able to qualify for state and just you know put Mr. Winger's training and and his tactics to good use. Show that he was really. That, uh, that he was teaching us a lot and that it was going to be worth it in the end. So what did you think whenever Tristan Lesko and Jeff Ford became state champs this year? I was honestly impressed. Like I could not be more proud of them considering that like for Jet, it is un unbelievable because he is unbelievably fast. He's a freshman. So the fact that he has the rest of high school to take care of at this fat, at th th this fat, at this fast of a pace is honestly surreal. And when Tristan became state champion, it was, a, it was a sight to behold the fact that because yeah, he, he really came a long way when it came to like eventually qualifying for state. So it's just, um, I'm really proud of him. Like, like I, I, was, I was very impressed when they both became state champs, but yeah, that's pretty much it.